Thank you for being here today. This evening, UK's Channel 4, which won Amnesty's TV News Media Award for their reporting on Sri Lanka, will air their frank and heartbreaking documentary, Sri Lanka's Killing Fields. This broadcast presents new video evidence of war crimes during Sri Lanka's civil war, including material authenticated by the United Nations. Screened at the UN Human Rights Council meeting in Geneva this May, it features a disturbing collection of trophy cell phone videos taken by Sri Lankan army officials, photos taken by fleeing civilians, and testimony by Tamil civilians who saw firsthand occurrences of sexual abuse, extrajudicial killings, and indiscriminate bombing of civilian targets. The UN Special Repertoire on Extrajudicial Killings has declared the documentary evidence of definite war crimes. To date, the Sri Lankan government's own lessons learned and Reconciliation Commission has disregarded this video evidence and the allegations of the UN expert report calling on to serious question and cre credibility of this commission. Given the mounting evidence, testimonies and reports, Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch, and other reputable independent human rights organizations are calling for the UN to conduct an independent war crimes inquiry on the war in Sri Lanka. In concurrence, ruling Conservative Party MP Scott Lee has tabled a motion in British Parliament with the support of Conservative Labour and Liberal Democrat MPs asking the UN to establish an independent investigation into these allegations of war crimes in Sri Lanka. This follows a March 2011 US Senate resolution sponsored by 12 senators and passed anonymously that call for the government of Sri Lanka, the international community and the United Nations to establish an independent international accountability mechanism to look into reports of war crimes, crimes against humanity, and other human rights violations. Canada's valued allies are speaking up. Respected human rights organizations are speaking up. Where is Canada's voice in this chorus? We urge all Canadians concerned about the state of human rights globally to visit www.channel4.com to view the documentary airing at 7 p.m. today. We join together with Radhika Sitsabaisan, Member of Parliament for Scarborough Rouge River and Amnesty International to urge Canada's House of Commons to uphold Canada's values of democracy and human rights on the international stage by having Canada join the group of countries and organizations calling for the UN to establish an independent investigation into these allegations of war crimes. Thank you. Now I call upon uh, Radhika Sitsabaisan, MP for Scarborough Rouge River uh, to the podium. Thank you, Anita. Um, Hello, everybody. So we've heard allegations of war crimes before in Sri Lanka, but now with this uh, documentary that will be airing, we will be seeing the horrible visual evidence of it. Sustainable peace can only be achieved if these allegations are investigated and perpetrators are brought to justice. New Democrats have always supported the UN on this front. We've been a strong supporters of the UN on this front and we will continue to support the, UN, the UN on this. We call on all parties, including the Sri Lankan government, to give full cooperation to the United Nations process in support of an independent inquiry to, the investigation, to investigate allegations of war crimes and the crimes against humanity. The international community should support the United Nations process. Let's work together and work to end the culture of impunity and let's build a sustainable process based on respect, 
dignity, and justice for all of the victims of this horrific war. Other Western governments, like Juanita said, are taking action and are showing leadership on this issue. The UK Parliament has moved a motion. The United States Senate has a resolution. Canada has always been a champion of human rights and social justice issues. We need to speak up and we need to take action and we need to not stay silent anymore. Thank you. Do you want to read the statement from Amnesty? Thank you, Ratika. Thank you, Juanita. Before I start, I want to acknowledge the presence of two of parliamentarians, uh, Mr. Dan Harris from Southwest, uh, Scarborough Southwest, and also Mr. Andrew Cash from Davenport, and also Kate Fiander from uh, Department of Foreign Affairs. Thank you all for being here. Amnesty International reiterates call for a UN-led independent inquiry into alleged war crimes and crimes against humanity committed in Sri Lanka. The public premiere of Sri Lanka Killing Fields follows the publication of a hard-hitting 12th of April 2011 UN report by panel of experts, which found there are credible allegations which, if proven, indicate the wide range of serious violations of international humanitarian law and international human rights law was committed both by the government of Sri Lanka and the LTTE, some of which would amount to war crimes and crimes against humanity. This documentary underscores the absolute necessity of a UN-led independent inquiry to investigate allegations of war crimes and crimes against humanity during the final phase of the war in Sri Lanka in spring 2009. Amnesty International has repeatedly called for the Secretary General to launch an independent international mechanism to investigate the allegations and the organization continues to urge the UN Human Rights Council to support such an inquiry. Amnesty International hopes that the broadcasting of the documentary and the new footage it reveals would encourage Canada to urge the UN to establish an independent investigation into war crimes committed in Sri Lanka. This is a, this is a statement from the Amnesty International and we thank you wholeheartedly for International, Amnesty International for coming forward uh, to reveal these war crimes committed in Sri Lanka. Thank you all and we are here to take your questions. If you have any questions, please. What precipitated Britain and the U.S. to move motions or resolutions uh, in, in this area? It wasn't this documentary, was it? No, it wasn't the documentary. It was actually uh, the parliamentarians taking action based on their constituents' voicing and the international concern for what was happening in Sri Lanka. Can you give me a little bit of context? Like how, how long have these resolutions been in the works? Is this something relatively new? Uh, can you just give me, just backtrack a bit? Do you want to... Yes, uh, in, in the United Kingdom, uh, they are very, uh, very much upfront on this uh, issue. And for the last two years, they are paying heavy attention. Uh, parliamentarians uh, from the ruling party as well as the opposition party, they are united together to bring it out. Uh, so as the United States, I mean, recently United, in the United States, uh, Bill Casey from Pennsylvania, Senator Bill Casey, brought this uh, motion. It was passed anonymously. So I would say in Canada, in uh, United Kingdom and the United States, that's there for a long time, yes. Uh, Rathika, to you, uh, uh, you don't think the Canadian government has has um, spoken out, and what should they be telling uh, Sri Lanka and the international community? If you can capsulize that, um, it, clearly, it, it would be to support and the UN-led process to for an independent inquiry on the occurrence of war crimes and crimes against humanity, um, to allow for the UN to do that and to urge the all parties to work together to cooperate to allow that process to happen because there have been victims on all sides and the the victims of the war need to be brought to justice 